Hello and welcome once again to Letters and Numbers where our contestants test their aptitude against the clock and we invite you to do the same. I'm Richard Moorcroft, let's say hello to the rest of the team and firstly the mathematician who is not an imaginary number, Lily Cerner. Hi Richard. <laughs> Hello, Lily. Actually, you know, thinking about imaginary numbers, after you've done a hard day's maths, do you have numbers literally swirling around in your head? I do. I often have a lot of difficulty getting to sleep because my mind, I guess, is still very active. In fact, I think sometimes I solve major, complex, unsolved problems in my head, but I, 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 can't, I can never remember them in the morning. <laughs> or maybe, maybe you should just try counting sheep. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Welcome, Lily. And now, a man who is never short of a word, David Astall. <laughs> Oh, Angela, you, do you count those, you know, count those words going over a fence or something like that? Um, just like Lily, I do have a little bit of an obsession with home. letters, as you'd expect, and uh, I try not to do difficult Sorry. crosswords, either yeah. compiling or solving, too late at night, because uh, the clues, unsolved or to be drafted, just gnaw at me while I'm trying to sleep. So literally that word side so of your brain just keeps going. So narrative, actually, is very therapeutic, just to read a good book and let the narrative Turn just it. wash the words away. <laughs> Well, welcome, David. Thank you. Now, on to our contestants. And first up is Basim Abusid, Slow an down. IT professional who Turn loves up. pro wrestling and actually commentates at wrestling events. Well, welcome, Basim. Thank you very much, Richard. That's an extraordinary <laughs> extracurricular activity. <laughs> How long have you been involved with pro wrestling? Uh, well, I guess watching it when I was younger in the 80s, it was on TV back then, and it's something that I haven't really grown out of. And. Uh, been commentating the event since about 2004. Excellent. Well, you know, if you feel like throwing in a few wrestling <laughs> terms during the night, feel free. And ready to challenge Bassam is Jayanthi Viswanathan, a secondary school maths teacher who is the author of a textbook, Introductory Calculus. Well, welcome, Jayanthi. Thank you, Richard. Now, this Don't. book that you've written is to make calculus accessible. And fun. Yes. And fun. You're emphasising that. So how do you make calculus fun? Basically, you, you try to take a, a lot of the, the jargon out of it and introduce it to students in a way that actually makes sense and builds upon what they've already learned in junior years. So it's going to be a bestseller. J.K. Rowling, look out. Absolutely. She should start <laughs> quaking in her boots. <laughs> I'm sure she will. Good luck tonight. Thank you. So please welcome Basim Abusid and Jayanthi Viswanathan. <laughs> and starting off, just the way we like it, the letters game. And Bassam, your choice first, please. Uh, thank you, Richard. Uh, I'll start with a vowel, please, Lily. Thank you, Bassam. Let's start with a U. I'll have another vowel, please. A. I'll go a consonant. C. Uh, another vowel. I just got by a current. O. Consonant. T. I'll have another consonant, please. H. Another consonant. L. Uh, another vowel, please. <laughs> I. Another consonant. And lastly, K. Thank you, Lily. Here's the first clock. <laughs> Slow down. So, Bassam, how did you go with your first selection? Uh, five. And what about you, Janthi? I got five as well. What was your five first? A uh, cloth. And yours, Bassam? I went for think. Think. Mm. Well, very straightforward start, David. Uh, unfortunately, Bassam, if you rethink, there's no end in that mix, I'm afraid. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Making up letters all <laughs> Sorry about that. It's uh, actually often a symptom of first round, particularly for new players. It can be quite uh, nerve-wracking, so... And, and okay. particularly prevalent, I think, with wrestling callers who have to <laughs> make up really exciting moves when, when the people are doing things on the canvas. Yes, that's right. But uh, well done, uh, Jayanthi, for clock. It's five. In fact, it's a very, very difficult mix for... Uh, for any show, particularly first round, and the best that I could find was a six-letter word, chittal, C-H-I-T-A-L. That's a type of deer, isn't it? Well done. Thank you very much, David. So, Slow five down. points to Jayanthi. Straight on to our second letters game, and uh, Jayanthi, it's your choice this time. I'll have a vowel, please. Thank you. Let's start with an E. 
And another vowel. O. And another vowel. Ah. U. And a consonant. N. And another consonant. R. And another <laughs> consonant. G. I just got kicked by a cunt. I'll have another vowel. I. And another consonant. D. And one more consonant, please. And let's finish with a T. And your time starts now. Slow down! How did you go with your first letter's choice? I got a six letter word. Basin? <laughs> uh, six also, Richard. What was yours first, Basin? Ground. And yours, JMP? And the same word. Ground. ground. Could you just uh, verify with each other? Grounds for similarity over here. Mm, feeling a little bit like ground day. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well played, but uh, I don't want to steal the limelight, but I've just found a nine. Oh, steal the limelight with a nine. <laughs> We're always delighted if you could do that. Well done, David. What was it? It really did spring up because of the I-N-G, which is a common suffix, and then D-E, a common prefix, and you put tour in the middle and you get detouring. Oh, very nice indeed. Well, great work. Always love a nine. But good scores for both Bassam and Jayanthi. Six each. Time to move on to the numbers game where contestants have 30 seconds to get as close to the target number as they possibly can. And Bassam, we would like you to make the first choice for us, please. Thanks, Richard. Uh, Lily, can I have uh, two large and four small, please? Two large and four small. Thank you, Bassam. And our first numbers today. Six, three, <laughs> two, and nine, and the two large, 50 and 25, and the target to reach, 774. Thank you, Lily. Let's head for that target. <laughs> Slow down. How close did you get? 7.55. Okay, a little uh, a little too far off for scoring, but uh, what about you, uh, Jay Anthony? I got nowhere close. Oh, dear. So, a bit of a tough one for uh, both our contestants, Lily. How did you do with your calculations? Slow down. Well. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm very pleased to hear it. <laughs> well, it's nice well when you... to get to the answer. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's see how you, how you did it. Okay, now, 9 plus 6 <laughs> gives us 15. 15 by 50 gives us 750. Plus 25 is 775, and to get that remaining 1, you subtract 2 from 3, and subtract that all the way is 774. <laughs> Very nicely done. Thank you indeed, uh, Lily. So, our scores at the moment. Bassam is on 6 points, Jayanthi on 11. And we are moving towards our first break, and that means, of course, the first word mix for the night. It is surf sort. And the clue this time, difficult to penetrate. Back after the break.